Reporting live for you from the Apollo 11 exhibit here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. It's packed full of memorabilia and artifacts from the Apollo 11 era. In fact, what you're looking at behind me is a 36-foot tall model of the Saturn V rocket that was actually blasted off for the 40th anniversary 10 years ago. But the Saturn V rocket, the development of that rocket would not have been possible, of course, without one man's vision. That's Werner von Braun and his team of German scientists. They were brought here to America after the end of World War II through a program called Operation Paperclip. Earlier today, there was a panel discussion here at the Space and Rocket Center featuring children of those scientists introduced by Von Braun's daughter, Margaret. I think the rocket team and the Apollo program really have epitomized what human beings are capable of. It was a secret operation authorized by President Truman in 1946 to gather up hundreds of German scientists and engineers and bring them back to work for the United States. Army officers would attach a paperclip to the files of the ones they wanted. Martin Dom's father had a clip on his folder. He was an aerodynamicist. Carl Dom worked on airflow as rockets flew into space. Martin himself is an aerospace engineer and said his father couldn't wait to develop rockets to go to space instead of for war. And they were really hoping to push this more toward the space exploration and then the, the, the missile weaponry. Klaus Dannenberg's father worked on propulsion systems with the team at Redstone. He donated his personal notebooks to UAH. Well, it's kind of like a uh, one of Columbus's crews taking notes while Columbus was on the way. To Getting to the moon was his first career, but perhaps his greatest legacy lives on in the eyes of future generations. Finally, he wound up uh, coming to work here at the Space and Rocket Center and was one of the uh, originators together with Ed Buckby of Space Camp. And there's a gener there are generations after me, and I think we've all, we all stand on the shoulders of, of the, those great accomplishments that the rocket team started. And it was amazing to hear the legacy that their parents brought to the space program. You mentioned Space Camp. I mentioned Space Camp. They started back in the 80s here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And this week, there are a 1,000 space campers here on property right now getting an amazing experience to see the Apollo 11 exhibits and even talk to some astronauts personally who are here for the celebrations of the uh, lunar landing. 